Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. Today I'm gonna dive into Google's open source language model Gemma and show you how to build Gemma based agents using the AutoGen framework. Building on that, we will evaluate the performance of Gemma model in multi-agent applications particularly. When I was playing with Google's most powerful large language model Gemini 1.5 Pro, Google suddenly released its latest contribution to the open source LLM community Gemma which comes with a family of lightweight text generation, decoder-only models with state-of-the-art performance, trained on massive data set with 6 trillion tokens, available in 2 billion and 7 billion parameter scales with both base and instruction models, developers now have another brand new option on the shelf to upgrade their apps with a fair generation quality at less cost. Trained with the, the inspiration from Gemini's techniques, these models achieve impressive benchmark scores and their open source nature allows for future fine tuning and customization. As a new released decent open source language model, it can never run away from comparing with the Llama 2 models and of course should beat them in many benchmarks for various generative capabilities. From Gemma's released report, it easily defeats Llama 2, 7B, and even the 13B model on the categories of general reasoning, math, and code with overwhelming results. When I check the same data of Mistral 7B, which commonly stands on the top of 7B models, it surprised me that the Gemma 7B almost beat Mistral 7B entirely on these categories. You can see the MMLU for Gemma is 64.3 and for Mistral 7B is 60.1. Hilas Wack 81.3 and 81.2 is almost the same. And the mass the Gemma model is almost twice than the uh, Mestral 7B. And of course, the human evaluation, the Gemma 7B is higher than Mestral 7B. But the data is data. I understand that the real value of the commercial lies in its actual quality in practice under complex tasks. Therefore, I'm going to implement a multi-agent application using AutoGen framework showing how to create agents with Gemma models. From the experiment, hopefully we can understand whether this model is qualified for reasoning and orchestration capability to complete more complex tasks than simple one answer generation. In this application, I'm going to create a scenario of one-on-one -on -one conversation to test the model's overall generation quality, especially on coding and another scenario of a group chat with multiple agents to see how well the orchestration works. The implementation remotely with Gemma is by directly call model API from a third-party inference service, which aims to help developers who have no GPU locally create apps using open source language models. The same way as developing GPT and Gemini models, but at a much lower cost. In this demo, I will use the service from a platform called OpenRouter, which has immediately provided an inference endpoint for Gemma 7B model right after Google's release. And most important, it's free. And if you don't want to tolerate the rate limit for the free version, you can also try the paid version. Here, for only 13 cents per 1 million input tokens and output tokens. That is a very competitive price even for individual play. The AutoGen framework supports the request and the responses through OpenAI API by default. And fortunately, OpenRouter supports the OpenAI compatible API, which means which means that developers don't have to implement additional web requests for its inference service. 
Okay, first we should install the PyAutoGen package. Then we create an environment variable OAI config list with a model gemma 7 bit that is the instruction model, into the list. Please make sure that the name and the path should match what is on the model page here together with the API key that you created in your Open Routers account. Don't forget to replace the original base URL with the Open Routers endpoint, openrouter.ai API v1. Otherwise, your request will be directed to OpenAI. Then define the LLM config object that will be used by agents. Let's move to the first case, one-on-one -on -one conversation. First, we should instruct two agents for this application. The first one is Coder as an LLM agent that driven by Gemma model by using this LLM config to generate code-related responses. The second one is a user proxy agent, but is a special one called mass proxy agent. And this agent will generate well-structured prompts for mass problem and execute code in its environment. Simply prompt them with an inequality calculation problem, find all x that satisfy the inequality. Let's see the result. I copy the output print to a new cell that will be easy to see via Markdown format. From the output, basically the conversation workflow can work with Gemma. The coder generated a snippet of Python code that followed instructions from mass proxy agent. But unfortunately, the first shot of the answer is not correct. The mass proxy agent display an error message after its execution. Then the coder looks incapable of following error message to iterate the code, but only generates an example instead. I found that Gemma 7b was struggling to complete the coding task once the AI agent could not complete it in one shot. This result reveals two defects of Gemma 7b. First is the coding capability that the zero-shot code generation capability is still not at an acceptable level. And second is that the, the reasoning capability is also not strong enough to understand the error message that supports follow-up generation on code updates. In AutoGen framework, you may have to add more human interaction between the conversations to help the model to understand the error message and update the code. You can set the human input model to always that works to trigger the human interaction function. Okay, let's see how Gemma 7b works in group chat scenario. In this group chat, we will ask the group to generate a travel blog post with some revisions based on the review conversations between a writer and an editor. That first, we give a task that we write a blog post, and the writer should generate an initial version of the blog post. Then the orchestrator will ask the editor to review the comments and give the change recommendation. And we ask the the writer will revise a new version of blog post. That is is the expected scenario of our next demo. To achieve that, we should create these three agents to complete the task. In the agent construction, please be aware of the difference between the system message and the description. The system message is provided to AI agents that for learning its role, capability, and objectives. For example, for the writer uh, in its system message, uh, you are a blog post writer who is capable of writing a travel blog. You generate one iteration of an article once at a time. 
You never provide review comments. You are open to comments and willing to make changes in your article. In the description, we tell the orchestrator that you should know what the role and responsibility of this agent and help the, the orchestrator to clearly know who is the next speaker during the chat. For example, here we tell the orchestrator that this is a blog post writer who is capable of writing travel blogs. The writing is the writer is open to any comments and recommendations for inc improving the article. For the editor, the system message is you review blog posts and give editor recommendations to make them viral on social media. You never write or revise blogs by yourself. You will say terminate to terminate the conversation once you feel the article that followed your directions. And tell the orchestrator that this is an this is an editor who reviews the blogs uh, from writers and provides change ideas. The editor should be called every time the writer provides a version of a blog post. Based on these agents, we will now construct the orchestrator, also called the manager, in the group chat. And also create a group chat that including all the agents and the max around to make sure all the conversation will be will be hard stop at certain rounds. And then we give an initial uh, prompt to the group that generate a blog post about traveling in Boho Island. Let's see the result. Let's move to the result. From the print, you can see that the writer is successfully generate a well-organized blog post with markdown format, which is quite good, right? The title is Island Dreams, Boho's Charms Beyond the Chocolate Hills. It gives uh, several chapters. And the edit agent is called right after the writer and can generate a quite decent comments and recommendations for the original articles based on the objective that make the article more viral on the social media. To my surprise, the writer agent is picked up as a speaker again to follow the editor's suggestion to add hashtags here to the original blog post. This is quite incredible for such a small size model to orchestrate the multi-agent conversation workflow. And this proves the high general and reasoning score of Gemma 7b. Since I never explicitly asked the writer to revise the blog post and only describe this writer is open to any comments and response and recommendations for improve the article in the description uh, section. Then the editor showed up again to give a summary of the revised version. So according to my evaluation of multi-agent applications use Gemma 7b, the code and debug reasoning is not good enough to handle mid-level autonomous tasks that rely on code execution. I hope there will be a fine-tuned Gemma model for better code capability. However, I fully appreciate the generating quality at such a 7B size model in the group chat application of Autogen, especially its orchestration performance. By providing a refined system message and description and with necessary human interaction, the collaboration between Gemma 7B and Autogen will definitely be a competitive development tool set for creating professional writer assistant. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.